Hola, bem-vindos. Welcome to this live training video, this time pronunciation, the letter C. There's two ways to pronounce the letter C and into the mix we've also got the C with the little Cedilia there. It often causes confusion for new learners of the Portuguese language. So, as usual, let's look at some examples because that can help us. I've chosen some words that I think you might know. Have a look at them. Are you familiar with them? How do you think you'd say the words, in particular the letter C? So, we're looking at either a K or a S sound. And the Kaza, that's K. Centro, S. Cinema, s, computador, k, cubo, k. Okay, why? Why is it k in casa but s in centro? Really simple. It's all about the letter that comes next. So, this, the A after the C in casa tells me it's a hard k. The O after the C in computador, also hard. And the U after the C in cubo, also hard. So if you've got A, O, U following a C, it's a K. And if you've got it followed by an E, O, and I, like in centro, cinema, you always read it as a S. Okay. This is always. There are zero exceptions. That's a beautiful thing about the Portuguese language. If you don't have a vowel following a C, it's going to be the hard sound. Okay, so what? You have a go. Here's some words for you. What do you think? Is it casada or sazada? Somida or comida? Oculus or oculus? Bicicleta or bicicleta? Desculpe or desup? Fissar or ficar? Curveja or cerveja? Unisu or unico? Sometimes you know, oh, that sounds terrible. It's going to be the other one. If you're not sure, look at the next letter. That gives you the clue. So there we go. Casado, comida, óculos, bicicleta, because of the I, desculpe, ficar, cerveja, unico. Is that okay? Okay. We've also got an example here of the C followed by an L. K. Bicicleta. Yeah. Okay. Good. So then what about the C Cedilia? Always read it as S. Watch out. Not SH. A lot of people new to the language think, ah, oh, so much SH. I must SH that sound. No, no. It's a plain S. Good example I give is azúcar, so meaning sugar, azúcar. The proper term is C. Cedilia, if you want to give it its proper name. Little hint, keyboard shortcuts, if you're on a PC, is control, comma, and C at the same time. So if you're on a Mac, sorry, can't help you. It will be something similar there, I'm sure. Okay, a few examples of the word, words with Cedilia. Presso. Praça, Suíça, Braço, Almoço, Estação, Informação, Avançar, Abraço. Ok? So it's a S, not SH. Ok? So notice we're always using this Cedilia when we're following with an O, an A. I don't have any U's here, but it could be a U. We never need it if we've got an E or an I, because C followed by E or I will automatically be S. So it's superfluous to put the Cedilia there. Okay. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. I've deliberately not gone through the meanings of the words, because often when we're dealing with pronunciation, we just need to look at the words and focus on that and not be trying to clutter our heads up with too much other stuff. I have made up some Quizlet sets with all of these words in them so that you can have a look at the words, you can hear the words, and there's all the meanings there. Um, I'll, I'll post the links to that in the comments here. 
And if you'd like a PDF of all this, send me a message or um, put a comment and I'll get a PDF to you as a message. Okay, so I hope this has been useful. If you like it, like it, share it, um, any comments or welcome. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Let's see. Turn this off.